I'm about to see. Teen Titans go to the movies this morning, and look at this. Empty ass theater. Wow. So that means there will be no kids at the screening, right? Right? Oh, how wrong was I? By the way, if you just saw that, the kid behind me did catch me recording, but I don't think he fully realized what I was doing, so I'll just leave it at that. Never record inside movie theaters, kids. Anyway, what is up, everybody? Random Random Man here, bringing you my review for Teen Titans Go! to the movies. Based on the animated TV series of the same name, which in turn is based on the DC superhero team of the same name as well, the plot basically follows our titular superhero team as they find themselves not being taken seriously by their fellow superheroes as legitimate superheroes. So, in order to remedy that, they have to find themselves an arch enemy in order to get themselves a movie to be seen as the real deal. Going into this movie, I had moderate expectations. Now, in terms of my history with the Teen Titans property, I really enjoyed the 2003 series of the same name that introduced me to them as characters. I remember getting up every Saturday morning and watching them, getting a kick out of the animation style and even the theme songs. Teen Titans, go! But then that's what the Teen Titans brand became as despite retaining the same voice actors with their characters, the whole series became a comedic spin-off with a drastic change in its animation style, much to the controversy of hardcore fans. Now personally, I didn't mind the change in art style in being more poppy and cutesy, but I myself have not seen that much of the cartoon series to really give it full judgment. I maybe caught a glimpse of it once or twice while at a relative's house, and I do remember it being more comedic and less serious than its previous counterpart. In fact, I don't think it has much or any continuity at all to the 2003 series. So with Teen Titans Go! making their big screen debut, again, I had moderate expectations. On one hand, I didn't know what to expect, but on the other hand, the trailers that I did see for it did bring in a glimmering glimpse of meta humor that made me more optimistic to see it. Starting out with the voice cast and their performances, like I've just said too, the main cast from the 2003 Teen Titans cartoon did stay on when Teen Titans Go! began, and in turn, they reprised their roles in this feature-length film. So we have the likes of Scott Menville as Robin, Kari Payton as Cyborg, Hinden Watch as Starfire, Tara Strong, my favorite, as Raven, and Greg Sipes as Beast Boy. Now, I think that these are all charismatic voice actors, and when I first heard them in the 2003 series, I thought their characters were very likable there. And here in Teen Titans Go! to the movies, I think they retain some of their own personalities that were seen in that decade-old TV show, while also bringing in a lot more humor to themselves. But there's also a slew of other known talent from live action, mainly lending their voices to some characters in this film as well, such as Will Arnett as Slade slash Deathstroke, although he's never referred to as Deathstroke by name in this movie. He is the arch nemesis of the Teen Titans team and is constantly mistaken for Deadpool, which in real life, that's an ongoing joke as well. I think Will Arnett is hysterical as this character, just like he's hysterical as Lego Batman in the Lego movie franchise. There's also the likes of Kristen Bell as a famous filmmaker who the Teen Titans approach to making a movie about them, though again, the Teen Titans are not seen as legitimate. I thought Bell was a delight here. Uh, Nicolas Cage, I have to give a mention here, as he plays uh, Superman. Yeah, he voices Superman in this movie, which it's obvious it's Nicolas Cage to me, but if you know the history with him playing this character, you know that he was attached to a Superman movie that was going to be made by Tim Burton, but that got canceled. So it is kind of nice to see him play Superman at all, even if it isn't an animated movie like this. Everyone knows that Stan Lee has a cameo in this movie, despite this film being based on DC properties, it's <laughs> more meta to have Stan Lee, a Marvel guy, or literally Marvel himself be put into a movie like this. So there's other people I don't want to give away as well. So all in all, with the vocal talent in this film, I thought everybody here for the vocal roles they had were exceptional. 
The writing here and how this movie approached itself in being told surprised me quite a bit in how it was trying to go about its narrative. Now when the movie begins, the Teen Titans are seen fending off Balloon Man, but then they are uh, taken over or really given the backseat to some DC superheroes like Green Lantern, uh, Superman, and Wonder Woman taking care of Balloon Man themselves. And then when the movie keeps going in them being not seen as legitimate heroes, it takes on a bit of a commentary kind of form where superhero and comic book culture is talked about in both satire form but also in how it is trying to talk about it in some light. That surprised me quite a bit in this movie having more weight than I initially expected with telling its story and also the humor. Now speaking of the humor, the movie began within its first five minutes telling a long fart joke or showing it and it got me worried at first and like, oh no, is this the humor that this movie is going to use throughout? Luckily, it lightened up a bit in sparingly using toilet and fart humor throughout. So it's not like it was assaulting me all the time with that kind of low brow humor. Though I am not against toilet humor entirely as long as it's used tastefully. But with the rest of the comedy, I thought this movie was very funny in a lot of moments. It's also super meta and self-aware in regards to a lot of the comedy that is shown off, almost to the point where I would compare this movie to being a kid-friendly version of Deadpool, or if you want me to compare it to something more age-appropriate, uh, something like the Lego Movie franchise and how it satirizes its own uh, base source material while also having some heart infused as well. There's quite a bit of heart in Teen Titans Go to the Movies, which also surprised me quite a bit too. While we're seeing a bunch of the humor being displayed, we are also treated to some colorfully created animation. Now, like I've said before, I personally didn't mind the art style that the cartoon that this movie is based on was showing. And in terms of it transitioning to the big screen, sometimes it felt kind of TV-esque with the kind of animation it is using. But I also loved that a 2D animated movie like this was released in theaters and shown off on the big screen as it is vibrant and vast with a lot of the colors that are shown off here. And also this movie switches animation styles in some instances as well. At one point, uh, Disney animation is parodied for a brief moment, which that also goes into how this movie is mainly focused at the core storyline at hand, which as I was watching it, despite me having a lot of fun with it, I did find somewhat predictable in how it was done, but I also thought to myself that this movie is made for much younger kids, younger than the age of 10, I would imagine. So I don't think that they wouldn't mind that necessarily. It also goes into how one part of the storyline I noticed had a bit of a similarity to something that Incredibles 2 recently did. And that still made for some commentary in real life as to how we consume media culture and everything like that. Plus, as long as we are also mentioning more issues I had with the film, the movie for the most part did run well at about 90 minutes, an hour and a half, which is a quick watch. At times I did feel it drag in certain areas for it kind of feeling like an extended episode of the TV series. Again, I haven't seen much of the cartoon, so I can't fully judge if the movie is fully like how the cartoon is like, but yeah, I could see in some moments where it felt like some of the humor was being in flux to compensate for running time's sake, but I didn't mind that entirely. The movie can also be a bit too indulgent for its own good as well, throwing in all of the influx of humor as I've just mentioned. But at the same time, and how this movie is executed with the animation, the vocal performances, and the surprising insight it was trying to bring on as a commentary on superhero and comic book pop culture, it did bring on more joy and fun I was having with this movie. And I also have to give a mention to the music as well, as some popular tunes are put in here here and there from other movies, but also, to me, a highlight moment of the film had the use of the song Take On Me by AHA, and I adore that song so much. So when used in that uh, moment of the film, I thought it was pitch perfect. So all in all, I would say that this movie is a bit of an unexpected treat for myself. It does have some quirks to it. 
I'm sure that fans of the cartoon will get a kick out of watching this movie for sure. But for those who are not oriented with the cartoon, or if you're older than myself even, your patience might be tested to a point as to watching this movie for the utmost of an hour and a half. But with this film taking an approach that I didn't entirely expect, it did bring out the little kid in me in some moments. So what I've said with the more younger viewers watching this film, I think they will be introduced to some characters that they want to learn more of within the realm of DC Comics. In fact, before this movie started, there was a DC Superhero Girls short, I believe, that was attached to this film, and that in itself had some nice animation too. There's even a brief glimpse of the 2003 Teen Titans cartoon at the end of this movie. So there's that, and also just other references and other cameos that you may be able to catch. For all of what I've said with Teen Titans Go to the Movies, I recommend it. My final verdict for Teen Titans Go to the Movies is three and a half out of five stars. Thank you all, as always, for watching. Be sure to like this video, comment on what you thought of Teen Titans Go to the movies, social media links in the description, subscribe to my channel for more, and I'll catch you on the next movie review.